One of the questions that I still get asked an awful lot to do with the Call of Duty Zombies storyline is whose hand is on the power switch in the earlier Zombies maps? Verrucht, Darice, Transit? I'm pretty sure that's all of them. There might be one or two maps more where you can see this hand, but for the longest time, ever since we first saw this hand on the power switch in Verrucked, people were asking whose this was, especially since it occurred in multiple Zombies maps. And well, years later in Black Ops 4 and Alpha Omega, this was answered. However, there is still a bit of mystery here. So taking it back to the beginning, when Zombies first began in World of War in Nactor and Totem, that map didn't require power so there was no power switch. However, in our second ever Zombies map, Verrucked, that was when Troyok introduced a power switch. And on the lever, there was a hand half of an arm. There were many theories as to whose this could have been, one of the zombies, one of the marines that was sent to Verruck to rescue Peter McCain, Smokey, John Banana, Paxton Gunner Ridge, was it one of their arms? And then in the map after Shinonuma, we saw Peter McCain hanging from the rafters with half of his arm missing, his forearm, the same side that was on the power switch in Verruck. So we put two and two together without it being 100% confirmed by Treyarch, it was Peter McCain's arm we saw on the switch in Verruck. And then finally about 10 years later in 2018 when Black Ops 4 released, in the map Alpha Omega, Peter McCain confirms that it was in fact his arm and he lost it in Verrucked whilst he was grabbing for power. At least this ADAM unit has two hands. I lost one of mine grabbing for power. But the problem here is, well, if Peter lost his hand grabbing for power in Verrucked, well, why do we also see this arm and the power switch in Doris and Transit? Two totally separate maps in two totally different locations. Peter can't have lost his arm in Verrucked and then lost that same arm in Doris and Transit. It's just not possible. Yet we see that same arm on the power switch in all three of these maps. We only have an explanation for the one in Verrucked. Now, if you look on the Zombies Chronicles versions of these maps, we only have a Zombies Chronicles version of Verrucked. We have a remake of Darice, which is the giant. We don't have one for Transit though, but on Zombies Chronicles Verrucked, Peter McCain's hand or arm, I keep calling it that, is no longer on the power switch. And also on the giant, the arm isn't there either. Now, the reason for Verrucked, we believe, is because the Zombies Chronicles maps take place in alternative dimensions, where things are slightly different to the normal timeline. So clearly in the Zombies Chronicles version of Verrucked, in this dimension, Peter McCain never grabbed for the power switch, or at least if he did, he didn't lose his arm in the process. And as for the giant, well, that's a bit more of an interesting one because it takes place just after Darice, and the events that take place in the intro to this map where Richtofen kills himself, which causes fractures across space and time, affects what happens after, but because Darice takes place before, even though the giant is in a fractured universe, the Decepto fracture, I guess us not seeing the hand on the power switch in the giant could also be put down to that, this map taking place in a fractured universe, and then the other time we saw it was in transit, but we haven't had a remake of that map, so we'll never know. So there is an excuse for us not seeing Peter McCain's arm on the power switches in the remade versions of these maps, but just going back to the original timeline, well, what is the explanation for us seeing his arm in Darice and Transit? And by the way, what's even weirder is in Peter McCain's timeline, he actually went to Darice before Verrucked and never returned here, so that should mean if he lost his arm in Darice, then he can't have also lost that same arm in Verrucked. For me then, there can only be two other explanations. One, the arms that we see on the power switches in the recent transit aren't Peter McCain's and they're someone else's, or the arm in the recent transit are also Peter McCain's arms, but well, because all of those maps are a part of the same dimension and timeline, I'm struggling to explain that one. I could have said perhaps due to dimensional distortion, like a lot of things in our zombie storyline, items get placed in places where they're not supposed to be. For example, Arthur got transported from the medieval times in Europe over to buried in the year 2035 underground in Africa. Maybe due to that same fracturing across space and time, it caused the power switches with the hands on them to get transported to other maps such as Darice and Transit. I think that one's extremely unlikely. So there really is no valid explanation as to why we also see this same hand on the power switches in Darice and Transit. There's only an explanation for the one in Verrucked. If you aren't aware of Peter McCain's story, let me just quickly go over it for you. Back in the 1940s, as an American spy, he was sent to Germany to the Darice facility to infiltrate Group 935 by his handler Cornelius Purnell. When he arrived, he successfully infiltrated the facility. He worked here for a short amount of time. He was then transferred over to 
Verrucked. However, not long after, Group 935 began to lose control of their experiments. Peter McCain was outed as a spy and captured, but a zombie outbreak happened in the facility. Cornelius Purnell sent in a marine recon team consisting of Tank Dempsey, Paxton Gunner Ridge, John Banana and Smokey to go to Verrucked and rescue Peter. However, when they got there, Peter had already escaped, but not before he grabbed for the power switch and lost his arm in the process. After that, he fled Verrucked, he got on a plane and flew to Shinonuma. In the meantime, when Tank Dempsey and the rest of his team arrived at Verrucked to rescue Peter, once they realised he'd already escaped, that then left them trapped, fighting off against the undead, where Smokey and John died, Tank Dempsey was captured and became Richtofen's test subject, and Paxton Gunner Ridge managed to escape and flew back to America. After that, when Peter was flying to the Shinonuma facility to find out what Division 9 were doing, he jumped out of the plane down into the building. However, his parachute got caught in the rafters and hung him and we see him dead in the map, with half of his arm missing that he lost in Verrucked. And then over 20 years later in the 60s, Purnell, who was now the director of Broken Arrow, sent Paxton Gunner Ridge to recover Peter McCain's dead body from Shinonuma. He brought it back to America, where using the Elemental Shard, which is a concentrated piece of Element 115, he brought Peter back to life. Now, it was never told to us if Peter was brought back from the dead, with his arm still missing or perhaps they retrieved it or found a different one and sewed it on. I'm assuming he still had his arm missing. But once Peter was brought back from the dead, he then started working for Broken Arrow, but not long after, he discovered all of the shady shit that Purnell was doing. He snitched him up to the DoD and the CIA. Purnell then found out what Peter had done, drugged one of his drinks, knocked him out and threw him into a cell. After that, a zombie outbreak happens in the building. Peter ends up being killed. We don't find out whether it's from just starvation with him being locked in the cell or the zombies get to him. But when he dies, his life force, or his soul basically, ends up getting trapped in one of the ADAM robots. And that's where he stays until he's discovered years later by the Primus and Ultimus crew. And that is at the point where he's talking to our crew and he says this. What? Where am I? Why can't I see right? What's happened to me? Rushmore? Base computer, yeah, I, I remember an experiment. It, something went wrong. Oh, Purnell. Something happened to Purnell. Are you here to help me? I sure hope you're here to help me. It's been a hell of a ride, but I've got more to do. I feel like I've been falling in and out of existence for years. I died, but I came back. More than once. At least this ADAM unit has two hands. I lost one of mine grabbing for power. And a part of the Easter egg in Alpha Omega is freeing Peter McCain's life force from this robot, allowing him to just travel the universe freely. This is Peter McCain. It worked. I'm in the orb now. I don't know how to explain how it feels, but it sure beats that 80 AM unit by a country mile. It's been a long, strange journey. Living, fighting, dying, finding out that death's not the end. Thanks to you, my journey continues. I have some unfinished business to attend to. But I'll never forget what you did for me. So we do have an answer to this question. The arm that we saw in Verrucked was Peter McCain's that he lost whilst grabbing for power. And we see him with that arm missing in Shinonuma. However, the arm that we also see in other maps such as Darice and Transit, well, we don't know whose that is. So... There we go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content on the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.